having a car gives you so much extra freedom until it breaks down in the middle of nowhere. If you're concerned about getting stuck on the roadside with nothing but a cold petrol station Starbucks to keep you going, this video is your guide to breakdown cover. What it is, what types of policies there are, how you can save and what to do in the eventuality that you do break down. Breakdown cover is a type of insurance that means you and your car won't get stranded if something were to go wrong. Typically, you'll be covered for roadside repairs and assistance, and in cases where your car can't be fixed there and then, it'll be towed to somewhere that can. You can choose to take out breakdown cover for a vehicle or a person. Vehicle breakdown cover applies only to a specific vehicle, whereas personal breakdown cover is attached to an individual, so you'll be protected no matter which vehicle you drive. The latter tends to be a little bit more expensive, so it would really only suit someone who frequently drives multiple vehicles. Some insurers will automatically include breakdown cover in their standard policies, but most offer it as an optional extra or separate policy. There are three main types of cover that I like to refer to as near, far, wherever you are. Mm, feel a song coming on? Let's start with near. This type of cover is called home start or home recovery and protects your vehicle if you break down close to home, typically within a quarter of a mile radius. Far is what I call roadside assistance, which ensures that someone will be sent out to help you if you break down over a quarter of a mile from your home or else your car will be towed to a nearby garage. Roadside assistance should be included as a minimum in all breakdown policies. If you'd rather not end up at a generic nearby garage, you'll want to level up to national recovery, which means that if your car can't be fixed on the roadside, it can be towed to wherever is most convenient for you. Still in the UK though, you can't use it to get a free holiday or anything. Here are three quick fire ways you can save on your breakdown cover. Number one, if your car is brand new or just a few years old, consider getting a more basic form of breakdown cover as it's unlikely to need serious repairs. Two, check to see if your car insurance already includes breakdown cover as a standard so you don't have to splash any extra cash. And three, if there are multiple drivers in your household, consider investing in a joint or family policy, as these often work out cheaper than individual policies. If you do break down, the first thing you need to think about is safety. Breaking down on a carriageway or motorway is extremely dangerous. If you can, try to manoeuvre onto the hard shoulder and park as far to the left as possible away from moving traffic. Quieter roads likely won't have a hard shoulder, but will have less traffic. So it's a case of finding the least obstructive place to leave your car where possible. Where it is safe to do so, get yourself and passengers clear of the vehicle. Always exit via the passenger side to avoid passing traffic. If you can't make it to the hard shoulder, don't leave your car unless there's a genuinely safe opportunity to do so and immediately switch on your hazard lights. Which brings me on to my next section, visibility. The next step is to make sure you and your car can be clearly seen. Switch on your hazard lights, wear a reflective jacket and set out a warning triangle roughly 50 yards behind your car if you have one and it is safe to do so. Once you, your passengers and your car are as safe and clearly visible as possible, call your breakdown provider and sit tight for assistance. Do not attempt any repairs yourself as you could make things worse or else endanger yourself. If the repairs are successful, make sure you grab your warning triangle and wait for a safe gap in traffic to rejoin the road. If your car can't be fixed, your provider will explain specific next steps and alternative arrangements will be made or provided for depending on your level of cover. There's no one size fits all when it comes to breakdown cover, so you'll want to think about your specific needs when choosing a policy. For our full guide on breakdown cover, visit finder.com. Links are tagged in the description below. Give us a like or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.